Good evening. I say evening. It's one in the morning. Which is standard for me. But still, you know, it's certainly not evening. So. Today was more do nothing. And I am still not complaining. Um. had odd stomach trouble for the latter half of the day that I think came from eating too many potato chips. Great. I don't know if it was a particular flavor because they were a uh, dill pickle flavor. If it was just like it probably honestly that might have just been it. It might have just been that flavor. Either that or I'm officially getting so old that if I have too much salt uh, I hope it's not that. Not that I'm, like, the kind of person to binge on, like, ridiculously salty chips. I usually don't have as many as I did today, and I kind of force myself to eat them all because I poured them in a bowl. So, the more I think about it, the more that's probably what it was. But it still, I mean, regardless of what it was, it hung around for the latter part of the afternoon. And it didn't help that, and while this is, you know, kind of good news, it did manage to give me like a mild anxiety attack or I got an email um, wanting to do some follow up on the applications I submitted to the USPS um, standard fare uh, like I don't know if this is just a follow-up now that they've closed the uh, the job posting and they're just getting this information from everybody or if like I've managed to pass a first round I, I don't know but it's like the standard um, the standard thing where that's now gonna run like a background on my driver's license you know, that, that kind of simple thing. But, um, there was also, I don't know if they're, if they're gonna, I imagine they are gonna run my credit. Alright, thanks, Ben. <laughs> and, um, this is the part that I'm concerned about because I'm pretty sure I've been dropped by a couple of different places before because they look at my credit and see that I'm in debt. And don't take into account that the whole reason I'm in debt is because no one will hire me, so I can't pay it off. But since I can't pay it off, people don't want to hire me. So, hoping that's not a dead end. Although, where I can only speculate that I've been dropped for that reason before, I did read specifically where they'll tell me if that's why they choose not to continue down the road to possible employment, so... God, I... I swear to God, if I hit that spiral of I can't get a job because I have debt and I can't pay off my debt because I can't get a job, I'm... I will probably need to up my dose of antidepressants. Let's say it in a nice way. Because <laughs> I don't even want to joke. It just... If that's what I've hit the year that I'm going to turn 30... I want to be positive and say i got nowhere to go but up. But like... You know kind of hard to say that when the world is constantly shoveling dirt back in the hole you've dug for yourself. Oh, and by the way, you're still in the hole. Hey, but what will be, will be. <laughs> anyway, um, man, that wasn't even bothering me until I be... A lot of times I hit you with stuff that hasn't been bothering me all day. And then 
as I start to sort my thoughts out, they sabotage me. And, like, because that, that part of it's not even crossed my mind. It, I mean, it did briefly while I was submitting the application. But as soon as I was done with it and it closed Firefox and gone back to what I was doing, it was gone. And honestly, by the time I finish recording this, you know, and I've, I've talked about something else for a while, it'll be gone. But... Like, not being able to master those little moments is um, what made work so miserable in the first place. I just get caught in that loop of, you know, a shitty thought, and then I was completely at the mercy of circumstance for the rest of the day, meaning any little thing would just throw the day in the, tr in the trash, and I'd get despondent, or in some cases, like, I'd panic, and especially, this is going back to Parker's when I was working at a, like, full convenience store style gas station if I was closing and that feeling hit uh uh nope that would that'd be like basically two hours of a of a of a you know just two hours of a consistent panic attack or anxiety attack just constant and it would slowly get worse and worse and it would last until it would honestly last all the way through the night and until my manager got in the next morning and if you know I didn't if I didn't have a you know disgruntled text message uh, by an hour after opening the panic the anxiety attack would finally start to subside and it's like okay I didn't completely screw it up awesome like I wasn't I wasn't able to walk away from work at the end of the day um, Especially not when I was closing. Because for some reason, without... Without the... Um, the closure of whoever I'm working with going, Alright, cool, thank you, catch you next time. And like giving me that cutoff, that hard cutoff of, Yes, you have concluded your obligation... And you don't have to pick this anxiety back up until you clock back in. It, like, I... My first job was pretty much the only job I could do that with. Because... Um... There wasn't, like, a corporate to have to answer to. So, you know, like, a good, a good relationship with your manager wouldn't just, like, mean nothing if corporate got involved because there's no one above us. There's no one above this building. And I knew everyone. Like, there are definitely situations where that whole we're not coworkers, we're family thing can be unhealthy. But we're talking about my coworkers were my youth pastor and his father-in-law <laughs> so like when I say we were like family I don't necessarily mean um, every single one of us but there were you know the, the ownership felt like family um, and like I didn't know a couple of them as well as I kind of wanted to just because of how much time we had to spend together like there was there were a few that, uh, say kid named Ross, he wasn't that much younger than me, but like, he was in high school while I was still there, and is probably doing better for him, I hope he's doing better for himself than I am, but he was just like a genuinely chill dude. Who was thankfully sympathetic when it was like 3 p.m. and I hadn't eaten. I'm like, Ross, can you please just sit at the register for a while? I'm sorry if people come in. He'd be like, no. Nah, you know? <laughs> he was like one of the few people. 
And if it had been at that point and he heard me over the intercom, Ross, can I borrow you for a bit? You know, he could find a way to be like, yeah, Nick hasn't eaten yet. <laughs> I miss Ross. Ross is cool. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Breath of Fire is still going pretty good. I, I, I thought about this on and off, and I talked specifically about it with the end boss of three, but like, since 2, not that the first one was bad, but since 2, the sprite work has just been fantastic. And like, you know, like I said, the first one wasn't bad, but, um, in fact, like, the actual, you know, like, the still sprites were fantastic. But, like, starting from 2 on, there are these little flourishes in the, the animation that have just been, like, Oh, they didn't even have to do that, but it's so cool that they did. Like, one of the very specific ones is, um, there's, a, like, a dog slash wolf race that goes, I think, I can't remember what they're called because I almost said the Warrens, but those are the, um, the cat people. I can't, I can't remember what, it's never addressed in-game what their collective race is called um but one of your early companions in two is basically a, a an anthropomorphic bulldog and um he wields a crossbow and his attack animation when he attacks he like takes a step back but like he there's enough bounce in his step that his ears flop and they didn't have to do that all they had to do was have him raise his crossbow and shoot it. Easy. But that, you know, they went that extra little bit for all the little animations and they do it for the enemies too. So like, even if they're not necessarily coming across the screen and making contact, you know, the whole Pokemon thing. You know, still, um, there was enough there was enough detail in the animations themselves that it made up you know it's it's noticeable and i think to be praised so people who did sprite animating on this series good eggs seriously um we thank you for going that extra mile or i do anyway But anyway, I'm tired. This is 13 minutes. I'm going to sleep. I'll catch you all tomorrow.